Ah, uh, yes, the city must survive. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Frostpunk. We'll be uh, continuing on where we left off here today and getting ready for Frostpunk 2, which is coming out hopefully uh, sometime soon this year. Oh, yes. Anyway, let me uh, change some things up here for us. And, uh, yeah, so welcome back to you fine folks. Good to see you all here as we continue on with the uh, main initial story campaign, whatever you want to call it. The, the, I guess what's called the main story and then, uh, well, because this game is so damn good, I think we should come on back and play more of Frostpunk as well. More uh, uh, more cities before the uh, second one comes out. More of the DLCs, I should say. Just looking for a thingy to put down here. Maybe that'll do. Okay. All right, well, welcome back. Good to see you all here. We'll jump in in just a moment. Let me just check... Uh, I've been making sure, or trying to make sure, that all of our new Frostpunk uh, footage is, or rather, the like the times that we've been playing here is in the um, in a new playlist for 2024. So you can go back and see what the game looked like and how we played it back in ooh, I don't know 20. I think the last last thing we played was the last Autumn DLC, but the main story uh, we haven't played since like the very beginning. So uh, good times, y'all. Go with this one. Okay, that should be good. All right, cool. All right. So anyway, welcome back. Good to see you here. One's in the chat. Chat where you have epic music. Yeah, indeed. Frostpunk. Dude, the second music. I don't know if you've, you've heard the music for the second game, but it's outstanding. Just some of the trailers of like the, the gameplay trailer and some of the intros and story stuff that they've been teasing at is good. Good stuff. And only getting better, I think. <laughs> I hope they... I hope Frostpunk 2 is better than Frostpunk in every aspect because it's a sequel. However, it will be very difficult to improve upon what is damn near perfection. Frostpunk is like a survival city builder, but it's in a genre of all of its own. Like it, you know, it, it, it's like when a, when a city builder tries to be a survival city builder, it's either, is this going down the banished route or is this going down the Frostpunk route? Like where, where does it go between the two? And then there's kind of more like Anno with lots of resources to manage. You know, Frostpunk, you gotta manage quite a few resources too, but, uh, you know, then you get into the whole vanity production, which apparently the second game is going to be a little bit more like Anno, where it's, people are not necessarily happy with survival anymore. They want, like, fancy goods. So just being able to eat and, like, stay warm is not enough anymore. They're going to want more stuff. So we'll see how that goes. All right, let's resume the story. Day 27 of A New Home. Let's go. Hey, good to see all the ones in the chat. All right. Ones in the chat. Chat, where yet? Good to see you. everybody locked in. Locked and loaded for more Frostpunk. Cool. And now, our main goal is to try to get rid of the Londoners. Oh, and our generator's shutting down. Ooh. We got some big issues. Uh-oh. Uh, we got people... Oh, stone ship. A distinct spot in the Frostland we can use as a waypoint for further exploration. Our search hasn't uncovered anything of value, but we may be able to reach some more promising locations from here. Carry on. Oh, so the last time we were out of, out of power. Snow-covered supplies. A series of small, barely visible mounds with a strikingly regular, sh a regular shape. Crates, probably. Where are these guys going? I guess we got them on standby at the city. Okay, let's do that. All right, bad times. We're out of uh, we're out of coal, and we're at negative seventy. But it's about to warm up. There goes the hunters. Wow, look at that! All the hunters going at the same time. I've never seen that before. That's cool. You know, when I first played Frostpunk, I was not so good at these. I feel like I've been getting better. Uh, with these types of games and gaming in general especially like the ones where you've got to be more more patient and planning whenever anybody in, in, in like a game like uh, farthest frontier or frostpunk when someone's like do play on the, hot, the the top speed that's don't do that's a trap don't do that that's when your city's gonna have a bad time oh hey looks like we're down to uh 14 londoners all right Let's even get that to the big zero okay we got coal coming in at 10. Nine hours, 800. And then we've got all these coal mines ready to go in the morning. Do we have the autonomous, 
tom up tom tom up tom tom working somewhere oh yeah he's working on the coal pile too oh good we got coal let's fire it up okay coal is coming back in all right that was this was a rough night Discontent lowering because of the warmer temperatures. He's gathering huts back on right away. What do we got for unemployment? 39. Oh yeah, we put the coal mines on an extended shift too. But it makes sense. Yeah, we got a lot of wood out there, but let's stack up more of it. What are we researching? Faster coal mining. Did I reactivate the Autumn DLC? Uh, no, but I'll, um... I I've got all the DLCs. And I'll, uh, I'll make sure they're all installed when we go to play through them all. I think we'll play through them in order of release. And I, I still think one of the hardest... The two hardest scenarios for me, at least, are the, uh, the Ark scenario with the seeds... And then the, uh, I remember the Rifts one being hard where you got to build bridges, but I don't remember. But I'm a much better player now, I think, in general. Coal mining optimization research, good. So let's pick a new research. Mechanization, no. Eater efficiency, that'd be good. Save more coal. Well, then we can make atom 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 atoms. We make a charcoal kiln, that might be good. What is that thing? Large resource depot. Oh. Gathering post, insulation, that might be good too. Also want to go down the wall drill at some point. But let's worry about heating, that's our kind of top priority right now is coal. Bridge building one requires a lot of care careful planning, yeah. I don't even know if I, pl I'm, I'm pretty sure I played them all. I just don't know if I put a video up on all of them yet. So whatever, now, now is a good time to do that. The snow covering the crates is deep, but we're sure the other... Uh, we're sure that some valuable supplies are buried down there. Precious supplies. Under the snow, we uncovered many crates full of supplies. There's no telling who may have uh, left them here. Make resources, 41. I'm pretty sure the Americans, I mean, it's pretty close to their camp. All right, these guys can RTB. No other points to explore at the moment? We got food, steam cores. Okay. Well, so far so good. Can you build outside the crater or are you stuck in there? Um, you can kind of technically build outside. Like there's this elevator here allows us to bring supplies back from an outpost down here. So like kind of technically there's probably some buildings down there. So people can go back and forth, but you can't, like in this mode, you can't build. But the second game will allow you to build way outside of this. You thought this is the new one? Uh, we're getting ready for the new one, yeah. We're getting ready for Frostpunk 2. Very excited. If you I, Actually, if you fire up Frostpunk, at the bottom of the main screen it says Frostpunk 2 in like huge letters. Like when I first saw it, I was like, what? This ain't the second game. But it's just an ad for the, the new game, which is fair. All right, what should we do? Child apprenticeships, fighting arenas, adaptation, faith keepers, righteous uh, denunciation. 
Discontent will rise. Groups of people will occasionally abandon the Londoners. No, no, I think we're good on that. In fact, wait a minute. Before I forget... Let me... Yeah. Oh, wow, we got, like, maximum hope. Okay, I want to lower discontent. I think the fighting arena might do that. Fighting arena will lower discontent. A little boxing arena? Okay. Let's go with that. Hear me, hear me. You've been looking forward to this? Ah, well, welcome. We can do a boxing arena next to the old church. Come on down, pray, and... and we'll build it right there. I'm planning on building a lot more houses around here. And here. Thunderdome. I will start with three. Okay, we're full on iron. Let's build another resource depot then. Two more of those. Someone died? Oh, that's, a r that's rare. Somebody died. Lack of treatment. We got everybody in the hospital. A wise man. Sir, a dying old man has written a letter to you from the House of Healing. Oh. Oh, it's a scripted death. I will die in good death in due time, not in pain from illness or cold. I will die in peace knowing that our city is in good hands. You understand that more than food and shelter, and people need something to nourish their souls. For this I thank you. May he depart in peace. Oh, maybe it's a terminal illness? Okay. I made sure we got way more than enough healing. Maybe they haven't built the roads there yet. Fighting arena built. Fighting arena has been established in accordance with the new law. Hope rises. And discontent is lowered. Built shrines everywhere we needed to. Oh, these facilities are closed. Not bad. Well, it's not like we needed wood critically. Uh, what's our population? Um, 384. I guess I'm kind of, kind of blocking that. Let me scoot over. Population 384. Uh, the second game comes out soon, but there's not an actual like announced release date yet. I'll over here, hopefully that'll do. Uh, what difficulty are we playing on? Uh, standard difficulty? I haven't I haven't played this in forever, so it's already going to be a real challenge. I'm just here for the story, really, because I want to play through all the other DLCs. The lore in this game is so damn good. I want to play through all the DLCs to get the lore for the second game. Because they might make mention to a lot of the other DLCs. Efficient gathering would be good. That way we can pick up more coal faster. Let's do that. We're going to go down that route. And 
And I do want to store more stuff too. Oh, we upgraded both of those to steam. Yep. More coal, more meals, maybe. Yeah, the storytelling in this is incredible. I mean, the fact that... I don't know. It's just... You can find little things about this game that are... Like, they could have improved upon, but it's like... Who cares? Here, I'll build a bunch of storage back here. Store more raw food or completed meals, then we'll do steel next. Can't make a road back there, weird. Oh, because of the coal pile there. I'll just cancel that. I'll just build a bunch of storage back here. And I'll keep that scout group on standby. Yeah, the music, the sound. You know, the incredibly, the, the sound and like the whole, like, you know, corners of the screen that just start to cover over with ice and start crackling, are, are, it's just amazing. And 11-bit makes a lot of games that are kind of um, depressing but filled with hope. Like they've, of course, are the same folks behind um, This War of Mine. And I want to play through that too. This War of Mine, I think we featured it on the channel. But there's just, just like Frostpunk, there's a lot of DLCs for that one where it, it goes and tells a story. If you like Frostpunk and don't have This War of Mine, you might want to add it to your uh, Steam wish list. And then wait for a Steam sale and check it out. It's, it's a good one. Maybe we put, I don't. I don't know if I want to put a field kitchen next to these. What I could do though is, since we have so many unemployed, let's do this. Let's make another. Let's make another sawmill. Just to get this area cleaned up ASAP. We're gonna have these two like overlap. Then I can build a shrine. field kitchen and that'll get that clear that area out like I want to use that area for construction but I want to clear it out you don't understand the bad reviews for the DLCs of Frostpunk oh really no I I don't think that's accurate Frostpunk is just too good I think oh Interesting enough, the game about freezing temperatures, I think, just froze. Ah, oh, darn. Okay, we'll, uh... Now we'll jump back in. Hopefully there was a save there, but we'll continue to build the, uh... area over in the corner with the... Sawmill in the storage. That was a pretty good move. Graphics bad, game bad. Now this game has a wonderful appearance to it, and I would I would say it's not even the graphics of the game that are amazing. It's the um, the attention to detail by adding a bunch of like. Oh, it looks like my Steam crashed. Steam, what are you doing? All right, Steam is. I need a new Steam core. Yeah, the attention to detail in this game is just crazy. Yeah, yeah, Steam is being weird.
Oh, that's what happened. Yeah, okay. So Steam went all weird and then brought the game down. Damn it, Steam. All right, just one moment. We'll be back in. Okay, it was syncing with the cloud. Okay, hopefully we can pick up where we left off easily. Okay, so where were we? Okay, so this was right before we built all the extendo storage. Oh well, gives us an opportunity to make that more clean. And we'll build that second sawmill. And then we'll do the shrine, soup kitchen, book of laws, fighting arena. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. do four this time. Okay. Then scouts will make it to their destination in a day. Oh, and then we should turn these, uh, hold on. And turn these sawmills back on. Then that scripted death guy should die again. Good old Frostpunk, you still haven't beaten him. Oh, really? It's a good one. Oh yeah, there's that scripted death. May he die in peace. Okay, so that group's on the way back. Then we're gonna research, um, I'll figure it out in a minute. Yeah, you never win Frostpunk, you survive another day. That's true. Yeah, illness is really well under control. For now. You're replaying Surviving the Aftermath right now? Raptor's logo is on the banner? Yeah. I'm pretty sure they put my logo in there. It's been a great time being in so many games are referenced. At least the logo. Our fair and fine city. How long until that group comes back? Must be tomorrow. All right, advanced heater research completed. All right, that's what we're working on, gathering posts. Then we're gonna expand the uh, function of those.
Nice. Londoners down to 13. Really cool in this game, too, how things unlock. Like, you've got you know, your book of laws, but there's multiple options within that. Alright, finding arena complete. Yeah, we got a lot of hospital tents, yep. Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't messing around with sickness. Speaking of tents, I also want to upgrade our houses too, but uh we'll let the kids do some cooking. They'll throw the dino nuggets in the uh in the oven when it beeps. I don't want to make a factory next. Get those automatons working. Love the fighting arena next to the church. Looks good. Yeah, this game is great. Coolest thing is when the when you beat the game, um, it shows you a time lapse of all the buildings you built and kind of shows the city over time. Yeah. Hey, Anna, what's up? Oh, uh, well, we have our schedule down below in the description, Anna. We may play more Universum sometime in the future. Lots to play. That was a good game, wasn't it? leave this one on a sign on purpose. We'll just see what we fill up with first. You loved it? It was a lot of fun playing that with you. We had the Twitch integration going, and so you guys were able to like be in the game too and, and goof around with me. It's a cool game. Explore as a city builder. Well, I mean, kind of is, but you know what I mean. I'm glad you had a good time. That's what's most important. Alright, anybody else? I could build another fighting arena here. Oh wait, that would affect the care house? That's interesting. The, the care house acts as a house. Like a home. I guess it makes sense. Got it in the name. Anyway, let's build another one. I just want to make sure we don't... I want to try to get zero Londoners. Oh, we could delete a house and get nice coverage. We'll move you guys over here. Perfect. A little extra room. good. Thank you for letting me know you want to see more Universum. Appreciate that. 
You've been listening to the Frostpunk OST for the last hour to get you in the mood for Frostpunk 2. Oh, there's so many, so gr many great songs and music to the game. What am I saying about Londoners? I don't want them to leave. I love them and I want them to stay. I want them to... Uh, I want them to know how much I love them. All right, now we're down to seven. Good, looks like everybody's gonna stay. Man mandatory love in this city. Building new houses. And we're going to build another Thunderdome. Wait, I gotta be out of build mode. How am I doing? I'm great. Thank you very much for being here. Wow, they brought back a lot of raw food. That's what we're going to be making that. Pour a lot of raw food up. Skyrim. Would you like me to play Skyrim? Would you enjoy that? I don't know. Every once in a while someone will mention Skyrim. I guess it's such a good and timeless game. Nobody really asked for like Grand Theft Auto 5 though, but I think we'll have to finally play GTA 5 like story on the channel for uh, 6. 4 was wonderful though. I think 4 and San Andreas were probably my two favorite stories. 5 was kind of more wacky and more fun, but it was still fine. You love this type of game? Oh, the city builder? Oh. You'll probably really enjoy Frost, uh, Farthest Frontier if you like Frostpunk. Yeah, Frostpunk 2 had uh, times going up into the 20s, like 1922 and stuff. I wonder if Frostpunk 2 will end where there's some normalcy in the world, but I don't know. Because they mentioned something about the sun and volcanoes. Elden Ring? Maybe one day. soon yeah things are going too well something must be wrong doors limit re oh there Efficient gathering, that's what we're going to go for. Oops. Okay, so we want to go for efficient gathering. So we can get more coal from the coal thumpers. That's great, the amount of coal we got sitting there. We need demo CDs again. Those were fun. 
Steam Next event's coming soon, though. On the 31st... To, well, on the 31st, I know there's going to be a bunch of cool game demos on Steam that are not part of the Steam Next event, but the next event should be in February, on, I think on the 5th, which I think is like a Monday. We'll see. All right, coal's coming back in. We got uh, 800 coal being delivered. Great. We got 2,300 coal. Let's go. Oh, no. Sandra, it's what's good. Yeah, I mean, of course, all, all the GTAs were wonderful. They were really great. But one I just think about from time to time is like going back to like 2007 and 8 and replaying Bully and uh, and like San Andreas and GTA 4. Those were the ones that we were playing. That was a good time. That was a good time for like Rockstar games, you know? We got spoiled with some, some good ones. All right, scout number two has returned to the city with 41 meat. All right, so we don't need any more scouts at the moment. So let's disband. How do we do that? Great. It'll cost us a little bit of wood to make them again, but that's okay. wood accounted for. We've got set 18, 18 people unemployed. Putting the kids in the kitchen. They can peel potatoes, it's okay. Damn, I hadn't been heating the coal mines. Oprah will rise, some Londoners may mend their ways. Oh, huge drop to discontent, let's go. We're down to five, that's great. I think just one crazy person's gonna go out there. Be like, see ya, pal. Going the church route is OP, you remember? Yeah, if the uh, the order route, more people say, is a little harder. So I, I guess, you know, that would be your second playthrough where if you want... That's kind of another difficulty modifier, too, where, like, you could play on standard, but then play on the order route, which is, like, a little harder than that, according to most people. But then also you could, um, you know, up the difficulty, too. I don't know. I'm just here for the story, because, like... 
So good. And so is that music. Listen to that. Pollution pits and surviving the aftermath? Um, I can't remember. There's some sort of waste disposal building you can get, but I can't remember how. Oh, a public house or a dueling law. Moonshine and a house of pleasure. Oh, a public house would be nice. A, a bar, brother. Hell yeah. Even in the harsh new world, people will need to raise their spirits after work in good company with a stiff drink in hand. People should be able to go to the bar. Maybe I'll replace some of those, uh... Oh. I see, this is a building that doesn't really have a range. Okay. Hmm. Supposed to be heated. Build it right there. Clip off the end of that road. Actually, what we could do is get rid of this. It's temporary anyway. Probably build some heaters behind that building. I like how I could put <laughs> I could put the bar between two churches. Eventually put a heater there and that's I could put a house there too. Okay. The so three houses of worship. We got <laughs> a temple, a house of prayer, and the public house. Stand by. We'll see if we can get the rest of those Londoners. Food's good. Medical care is fine. They just need to go to the places they gotta go. <laughs> when you gotta go, you gotta go. Reason prevails in the end. We are united again. If they'd, l if they'd left, we would have died. But we all stay together. No matter the cost, we couldn't let the Londoners leave. We did the right thing. We did it! The Londoners are not leaving. They're staying here. The Londoners. We are united. The last of the Londoners have finally seen the folly of their plan. Nobody wants to leave the city anymore. We've won a hard-fought victory over fear and despair. The tragedy of Winterhome crushed our hope, but not our spirit. We now stand united once again, stronger than ever in the face of an uncertain future.
Well done. Dubs in the chat. A small victory. One of many to come. We did it. Yeah, it's our first playthrough in a long time, yeah. It feels like a first playthrough again. Because I had forgotten a lot about... I forgot about the Londoners, forgot about the uh, choice between Order and Faith. I kind of mostly remember the DLCs. The one with the train, which I forget the name of it, On the Edge, I think. And then uh, The Last Autumn. But, I mean, when I play that again, I'm, it's going to be deer in the headlights. It's cool, man. This game's, game's good. Ah, the hunters are back. Good, more fooge. Yeah, we gotta go get people to clean that up. Maybe we should build another gathering hut just to clean that all up. How much coal is sitting there? A thousand? Wow. Well, I guess technically if it's on the ground like that, it's in storage in a way. Mm -hmm. Oh, Fall of Winter Home is the train one? Okay. And our public house is up. Awesome. Oh, the heater for that one. Oh, I didn't... Didn't finish the road there. There we go. We could build another house. Actually, maybe I could. Um, yeah, we could save that for another building. Maybe there'll be something else we unlock. At least it's warm in the kitchen, yeah. Efficient gathering research. Oh, good. I forgot I was working on that. Okay. Um, thinking about factories. Steam coal mine, not yet. Flying Hunter's Gear Infirmary Checklist. That might be nice. Going to the next tier might be a good call here. But let's just save. Let's research Difference Engine. Leave that on a sign for now. Gathering's better. A good job, right? Like, it's nicely... A lot of hard work to go and pick up all that stuff, but it's nice and warm. And, it, you know, you'd know that you were doing a lot of good stuff. Charles Babbage invented the difference engine. Ada Lovelace wrote the programs for it. Oh, right. I've heard of that now that you mentioned that. You're saying Charles Babbage and Ada Lovelace are living in our city? Bro, it's canon. They survived Frostpunk.
Wait, is that road not connected to another road or what? Oh, I'm being a derp. I thought that was built all the way across. My bad. My, my bad. Sorry. My bad. <laughs> Sunglasses, yeah, they're for fun. But also snow blindness. I guess in this game. full on coal. Bread and games. Have at least 200 people or ensure everyone Oh, I got some sort of steam achievement for the game. Wow. A uh, public house has been erected in accordance with the new law. People are uh, people are anxious to let off steam in the new house of respite. Ho prizes. Ooh, no discontent at all. That's a bad sign that you know something's coming then to shake this all up. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You know something's going to happen. Difference engine researched. Generator efficiency. Advanced heaters. Faster outpost teams, faster scouts. Sawmill range extension. Hmm. That'd be better than rebuilding that multiple times. Uh, infirmaries will heal people 15% faster. Let's do that. If they're not in the infirmary, that means they're at their job. And if they're at their job, that means they're working. Oculus, I do not own an... I I, the only VR I've owned is the uh, PlayStation VR for PS4. And I only got that because I wanted to play Ace Combat 7 in VR. And I played a few other games on PlayStation for VR, like Moss. Uh, VR is very cool. I like watching Dirty play VR. Um, but I'll have to think about how I change my setup to do that. VR is very legit, though. I think it's still gimmicky, but it's like... So was like the the light gun for duck hunt and stuff like that for Nintendo, and that that was a lot of fun. I don't think they make those anymore. Well, maybe Switch has some games like that, but that was a lot of fun. It was memorable. Moonshine. Uh, we get a bit of liquor now and then, thanks uh, then to soothe their aching bodies and souls. Every meal slightly lowers discontent. Eating soup causes less discontent. Hmm. Well, I mean, that goes with the public house, right? I like that idea. More than going down any sort of crazy religion stuff. People get some brewskis, bruh. Also, I could shut down a couple of these infirmaries and do more research faster. We we'll only have one free engineer. love to finish research faster. I'm gonna do this. Okay, let's shut down the steel mills for a second. Only need what five only need ten engineers. scale back on steel a bit then when we're done with cutting wood I'll put the people who are cutting wood in the steel mills so yeah
There was a game like Cowboys at a bar where you had to give drinks to them sliding down the table. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think it was called Tap Root Beer Tapper or something. An like old classic Nintendo game. There's like an arcade bar near me that I'd go to on occasion, and I remember seeing that. Good stuff. So now, what, what what is this? Oh yeah, the uh, these are closed, so it doesn't really matter at the moment. We could also do a little extendo. For the shifts of a research, but uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. I know. Can do a little, do a little extension on the research division. Love this game, me too. Me too. I think Raptor knows every computer game that came out. Not really. I but I do really appreciate watching people who show me things that I didn't know existed. Lazy game review, and there's a there's a few other people, LGR, uh, other channels like that out there. And it's amazing to see how many versions of a game came out. I'd love to get an arcade cabinet, though. I'd love to get an arcade cabinet and a pinball machine, but, uh, I mean, it'd, it'd be cool. We'd get rid of the green screen. I could have it going in the background. You know what I'd have to get, too? It, it would have to be Jurassic Park. But I think one of my favorite arcade um, pinball machines out there was, like, uh, uh, Batman... Is it Batman 67 or 65 or whatever? Whatever the year of Batman. It's a great... It's a it's a modern machine or a modern pinball machine, but like in the style of the Adam West Batman series. Uh-oh. Trouble. Refugees from Frostland. Unexpected guests. Captain, a group of exhausted survivors have reached our city. From their frantic explanations, we know they've come a great distance and that many of them died on the way. The phrase, doom is coming keeps being repeated and they say many refugees are following them they're begging you to help them out you'll send out a search party to bring them to the city we'll help them uh, resolve the situation with the incoming refugees zero out of three Um, I don't see anywhere else to search. Oh, there they are. Oh, boy. That's a lot of people. Uh, you can't see it, but it says 27 people, 22 children, and 21 engineers. You can send scouts to meet the survivors and escort them to our city safely. Oh. Well, let's immediately send them out. To meet them. More mouths to feed, but also more hands to do the work, too. Let's prepare a new housing district. Around this church here. This will be a perfect area.
Where are they from? That means we're going to need to do more research on food. Negative 60 C, then going down to negative 70 in a little bit. Searching those medical checklists. This is good. I wonder if some of those people are actually uh, uh, like sick when they arrive. We'll see. You're showing your age. You're 47 for Frogger. Loved Frogger. Love Frogger. I played that on like Windows 95 for a. It was like a, Flo a Frogger collection where they made it for like Windows 95 or 98. Like they made a new game and then you could also play the classic Frogger games on there too. Frogger is great. back on two regular shifts. Give these guys more time to pick up the coal. Hey, what's up, Justin? Okay, so we got people coming in. In about three hours, we'll see, receive more coal. Research is working on the infirmary checklists. You played Pong in 75. That's sweet. That's cool. Pac-Man Fever. That was another one, too. Uh, Flying Hunter's Gear. Uh, thanks to better weapons and enabled detection, hunters will, uh, setting out from the hunter's hangar, will return with more raw food from each hunt. Up to 45 per hunt. Well, we're getting more people. We're going to need more food. So that should be an immediate research. I'm not sure how many people. Oh, it was 70, 70 people in total. That's going to bring us over almost 450 people in the city. That's crazy. All these gaps in my city. Oh, I could finally build the house there. Extended shift, long hours of toil. Uh, sir, our people are worn out. Some of them have been working on extended shifts for days on end. Their efforts taking a toll and it's becoming restless. They deserve a break. Keep regular shifts everywhere for three days. All right, I agree. Okay, so it turned everything down for us. Okay, fine. I don't want nobody dying. Make some more homes there too.
what we could do, take these people off this. Take Fritz off of uh, gathering coal. Put him there. Take the extra people and throw them into the steel mills. And all the engineers. We're going to get more engineers. I want them doing something else. Probably research a factory next. <coughs> did I check... <coughs> Sorry, did I check out the Expeditions trailer the other day? Oh, for uh, Mud Runner? No, is there is there a new trailer? I'd I'd love to make a video on YouTube about uh, Mud Runner Expeditions and about um, what's the other one? Oh, Toxic Commando. I'm lo I'm loving all these uh, like these. Uh, if your name is Nicholas and you happen to be in chat, it's a good year for you. It's the year of the like you know how there's the Chinese zodiacs of dragons and bears and rats. If your name is NIC space H O L A S and you're in the chat right now and you're a big fan of uh, Snow Runner or Mud Runner, I mean, there's three beautiful driving games coming this year. Off road driving. Toxic Commando, hopefully this year. Toxic Commando, Mud Runner Expeditions, and Pacific Drive. Uh, Captain, some of our people have been, are concerned about low temperature in their homes. All right, we'll heat them all. I got it. You have to start heating 43 cold homes in 24 hours and keep them heated for two days. Ooh, um. No. I don't need to keep a promise that I might not be able to keep. We are going to need to turn the generator up, though, to steam level 4. That'll be our next research, then, is more warmth. I can't build another one of these, can I? Oh, I can. I didn't know that. All right, then we'll start bringing back more stuff. Uh, maybe more... Oh, something else. What the hell's that? Oh, the destroyed elevator. So the homes are a little cold. They're a little chilly. those people yet? Okay, they they met them to guide them here. Good. Good, good. Now we'll see how food looks after 27 new people, 70 new people move in. Temperature's going to drop to negative 70 next. Expeditions won't have co-op at release. March 5th, it'll release. Oh.
send people off to Nikola Tesla's, uh, I don't know what, what we could go for. We got wood, food, steam core, and, uh, iron. almost done there. How cool the footprints from the uh, automaton. The robo. Twenty three hours left on the coal. Refugees from Frostland, running from the storm. A huge crowd of people has reached our city. Many of them are sick. They say that some kind of enormous weather anomaly is coming our way, and that we'll die, they'll die without our help. We've never survived, we'd never survived it. Thank our lucky stars that the polar explorer Nansen warned us about the distant uh, disaster and told us to evacuate. Please let us in. No. Uh, 70 people, 30 of them ill, will enter our city. Discontent will rise. Hope will fall. No, hope will rise. Well, everyone's welcome. I already made my decision. We are ready for you. Their group incoming. 42 more people, my god. Okay, I want engineers on this instead. We need more iron right away. Also, I want an outpost team to go. We could start building advanced buildings and they could bring back steam cores for us. That'd be kind of cool. Let's do that. Let's research more advanced stuff. Okay, so then... Build a third coal mine. I mean, def definitely we're going to need more coal. Especially when we turn up the heater. Let's get more research done. Might have to build another cookhouse. Now yeah, maybe we should start building the advanced houses now. We're past the days of tents. We're now post tents. That's pretty good, chat. I mean, come on. If you're not already subbed. Come on. That joke alone. Come on. That's pretty good. All right. I don't know if I want to do any more, like, stuff. Like, I don't want to put crap in the soup. Extra rations for the ill? We could do that. And then a triage section. After... Wait, we can... Feed sick people extra rations to help with their recovery. Hmm. Let's do that. Hear me, hear me. And then, 
I'll make like a, a research a hot house or whatever. The the tier two one. So apparently there's a huge storm coming. Apparently there's a big big storm coming. Probably won't affect us. Beholder series of games? Oh, I don't yeah, don't know that one. I haven't played as many games I haven't played Baldur's Gate. None of those. Flying Hunter's Gear researched. Good. Let's research. Generator efficiency. It's gonna get colder, so. Oh, I can turn off this heater now. Yeah, iron's gonna be a thing. The only way we can get more of that is from the expedition. Yeah, you can upgrade the existing tents by building over them with bunkhouses, yep. But I'm building new ones because we have a bunch more people coming. So I'm going to build new ones first at a higher quality and then we'll upgrade everybody else's. I'm sure they'll be fine. With, I'm sure they'll be happy with me building new houses for people who just moved in. That won't create any sort of discontent at all. Not, not at all. Oh good, we got people in the mine. Ooh, this gonna need a coal mine's gonna need a heater. Let's go with uh, the shrine. Actually, let's build a shrine here. Build a heater here. Coal's like a essential, absolute requirement. I'm not putting anybody in that mine until it's warmer. I mean, yeah, the area. Mm-hmm. Windows? Which windows, D? Windows 95, XP. What was everybody in chat's first version of Windows? I think mine was probably... I think I... When I was in school, I had Apple IIs, the monochrome, you know, the black background with the green screens. So I had apples first, and then I had those weird apples that were like the Macintosh ones that were all sorts of different. It was like the weird all-in-one bubble, the plastic bubble. It was like teal and pink, and, you know, there were different colors for them. But my first version of Windows was probably uh, 95. You want a poll for this? Okay. Yeah, we're using our uh, we're using one of the robots over here on this sawmill. I'm gonna build more, but I gotta unlock the factory. Steam hub efficiency upgrade. Oh, let's do that. Range upgrade and then efficiency. I want to try to prioritize coal. That's like our blood. I see a lot of 3.1s, 2.0s. Maybe I did use Windows 3.1. I mean, the my, my first home one was like a Gateway 2000 PC in like 1990. Six or seven, and then we upgraded to Windows 8, uh, 98 shortly after that. Okay, now we can... Oh, 
Oh, and let's put a soup kitchen there too. Yep, we're gonna do that. Windows even came with some cool demo discs too. I can remember like a monster truck game. I can remember playing Age of Empires 2. It was probably with the Windows 98 upgrade key. Yeah, Gate Gateway 2000, we had Windows 95, yeah. And then I remember we bought a, uh, uh, you know, the Windows 98, like, upgrade, upgrade, like, box or whatever. It was cute. Okay, I don't think we need that little bit of wood there in the corner. 104 more? I think I'm good. I want more research now. We're going hard into the hard into tech. Tesla City. An outpost can be set up here, delivering one steam core every day. Do it. Do it. DOS 3, Windows 3.11. Wow. Wow. Field kitchen is now just chilly. I feel like we need more gathering posts, bro. Oh, they're in range of a field kitchen, too. that area. Okay, now we got 70 people on the way. Next group is 38 workers, 22 engineers.
try to upgrade more efficiency for the coal burning. The second wave. Refugees from Frostland. Another huge group of refugees have, have arrived. They're in even worse condition than the previous one. Many of them victims of frostbite. They all talk about a huge storm coming from the south. Pff, that ain't gonna happen. Nansen led us north because his years of exploring the Arctic taught him to survive here using natural resources. Nobody could have guessed uh, what was coming, though. We let them in. Yes. We better build some more infirmaries. Build a medical district over here. Overlapping is okay. We can also build another house of healing. Other cities may have fallen, but not London. It's impossible. Man, what are you talking about? Oh, we got another group we need to save, too. Oh, good. We'll get more engineers working. Time. Get good. We're getting more research done. engineers off something else. All right, where else do we have engineers? In coal mine. Care now. Good, huge effort towards health care. Ninety of those people being taken care of.
unemployed 25. Generator range complete. Let's go with the efficiency for the steam hubs again. All this is an effort to conserve coal. What happens if you turn away sick refugees? You can. They'll die, and you know it. They'll go off somewhere and die, and you'll feel horrible. And so will the people of the city. to gather as much coal as we can here. I think we're going to have to research a... Well, we'll work on the efficiency so we'll burn less coal than we'll mine more. We gotta start upgrading to bunk houses, that's what we gotta do. We'll upgrade five houses. We'll start with that. I think we built enough houses, though, for everybody. Great. Coal mining rationalization. Coal mines, steel coal mines, and advanced coal mines will be another 10% more efficient. Well, let's build on what we already got then. We got three, like, tier two coal mines, I think. No, it's just regular coal mine. We'll go three more. Wow, we helped out the sick tremendously. Work dead. It's off time. Okay, that means everybody's going to go build. Oh, these guys are like an hour and a half away. Okay, we'll have to make sure those houses are ready. The new ones, anyway. Freezing homes. Discontent will rise. Not now. Wait a little while longer. Patience, people. Patience. Yeah, we got more stuff for the Book of Laws, but I don't know. Hmm. 
it's going to go down to negative 70, then negative 80. Standing by. Thirteen hours left. We'll be all right. What's the time on that research? It'll be done tomorrow. How low can the temperature drop? Oh, I think it can go to negative 120. Perhaps. Okay, so now we got uh, temperature dropping in the morning. About 10 hours of coal remaining, but we'll have more in a minute. There's no more uh, wood left here. The third wave. The third group of refugees is here. They're on the verge of collapse, exhausted by their journey and by attending to the gravely ill and injured with them. Their leader, Nansen, isn't among them. We're evacuating everyone we can, but many stayed behind with those who were too ill to travel. Nansen amongst them. God have mercy on us all. The great frost is coming. Shall we let them in? What the hell is this great frost? 50 people are gravely ill. Whoa. What looms ahead? Sir, now we can clearly see what the refugees were running from. The great frost is coming. We have to prepare. Our scientists say that we can calculate the severity of the storm from observations. They just need a day or two to prepare their instruments and install them on the beacon. Oh. Oh, this is bad. Looks like we need a couple more houses. Okay. The Great Frost is coming. Oh, temperature's rising. Well, lucky us. We're healing very many people.
Ooh, there's a lot of stuff out there now. Deep crevasse, deep hollow, snow burrows. I'll send a second team. New stuff to explore. As soon as that first group changes uh, arrives, I think we're going to change it to iron. How will we manage against that monstrosity? We have to prepare if we want to stand any chance. Oh, there it is. Apparently that's the south. be here soon. Oh, we're doing good in upgrading homes, though. should have another cookhouse as well. Ethanol freezes at negative 114. Wow, that's crazy. take care of these and future people. How do you feed people at that temperature? What's, what is alive at negative 90 C? Good question. We did have an ice age before though. There's probably a, there's, there's a Waffle House still open, even though it's uh, gonna drop to 120. Uh, Waffle House won't close until negative uh, 130 or a nuclear uh, nuclear strike. So it only gets to 120 in this game. So what's happening is our, our flying hunters are actually just swinging by a Waffle House. Making some pretty big orders. Oh, the music's picking up, bro. I was processing more of that raw food. Yeah, Dollar General. Dollar General will still be open, yeah.
don't even know if I have enough. Well, I got six engineers. I need more engineers for this. Alright, coal mining. Steam coal mine. Yep. We just got another steam core. Uh, feels a little low. All right. Promise fulfilled. You gave people time to rest, maintaining normal working hours. People feel ready to work hard again. Oh, good. Yeah, Frostpunk 2 coming soon. I'm excited. I'm very excited. Is this a new update for Frostpunk? Uh, I mean, there's probably been updates, yeah. Um, we're playing on the latest version. I'm, I'm sure there's been updates over the last year or so, for sure. But the primary focus is their new game. Steam coal mine researched. Awesome. Wow, research is so quick for us. Alright, we're upgrading three of those. And I want a... Wait, are we doing this? Is this the Steam version? Oh yeah, okay. Advanced Steelworks. So, if we're going to upgrade these houses, we're also going to need more iron, so let's do that. And those are well within the warmth area. Okay. Do those count as a workplace? Oh, they do. Pretty stressful. Oh yeah, that storm is right around the corner. Oh lord, is she coming. Oh boy.
Okay, that'll be fine. Can we get uh, a bunch of dot dot dots in the chat? Drop two. We're gonna go down to seventy again. Research beacons, stereoscopic lenses. Oh, there's a new research. I've been too busy readying. Well, here, here's your research. Oh lordy, it's coming. Like there, there's your research. All right, ice crevasse. We found the dying people of Nansen's refugees. Uh, they're sheltering in an ice crevasse. These people are on their last legs. Despite taking shelter in an ice crevasse, many of them suffer from a heavy frostbite and hypothermia. We can help them if we act quickly and bring them to our city. They can't stand on their own. Uh, some could hardly speak. Bring them to the city. I got an idea. <laughs> that guy just doesn't get it. We tried, chat. We tried. He just doesn't get it. You new, forgive me. No, you're good, dude. You're fine. Welcome aboard, uh, Sasa. Welcome. Uh, Raptor, you don't like sports games? Um, not the traditional sports like football, basketball, baseball, that kind of stuff. No, but uh, sportsman games like hunting, fishing games, those are cool. Hunting and fishing games are... Uh, I mean, hunting and fishing is kind of part of survival games anyway. Like when you're playing a first or third person game, so. Kind of feels like that. We'll see. That group's not going to be able to go out there anymore. We're going to have to monitor that and see how long we've got. It's hard to tell. It's coming. The big, the big storm is coming. Hey, what's up, Beth? Blanket on your shoulders when you play this. Yeah, this this game will. I mean, it could be the if you're looking to cool down in the middle of August or July or whatever. You fire this up and temperature actually uh, lowers in your house by like 10 degrees. Pretty much. Music so chill. 
Yeah. It's about to be very chill. I don't think that group's going to be able to go out there again. Okay. Oh. Ooh, extendo rations. I didn't realize that was an ability. The city must not die to death. Yeah, we might have to turn this music up a little bit. Oh, so good, dude. Eventually, the hunters won't be able to leave. We're going to have to research or build hothouses or something. Out number four have returned safely to the city. Camp Vulcan. Several shacks and uh, stand at the foot of a small hill. You can see plenty of activity. People are moving between them constantly. thing next. What's up, Fat Jones? How's it going? Welcome. Alright, let's do the instruments. Wow, there it is. Stereoscopic lenses. A hundred iron? What the hell? Well, luckily we finished that research for it. Uh, scouts have reached the snow burrows. A group of barely alive people hiding in several burrows dug into piles of snow. The price of survival. All these people are deathly ill. It's a wonder that they're still alive. The snow burrows are only a little less freezing than the surrounding icy wasteland. It won't last a day if we don't take them right now to the city. Camp Meteor. Bring them to the city. Oh boy. Too late for some of that stuff.
advanced heaters. Overcharge. Oh, we're pretty much out of iron for every research. Oh, we'll have to wait till we get more iron. Start shifting people over there. How many people are on their way back? I think these are all just regular survivors. Okay, no, we have no engineers with them. I need 20 engineers to work here. I need iron, and I need it now. We need it. Good, my man just got this game. Oh, really? Wow. Enjoy. Till we get to the hundred. Go to Camp Meteor first. I want to go further away. is an issue. We're dropping uh, to 70 again. Shortly. Storm's coming. Okay, 
road construction. I think I could build more houses here. We can demolish these old medical posts and build houses closer to there. Steam core coming in. We could go down there and get the advanced coal mine. I think that's what I want. Thirty-three wood still there. Oh boy! Since the New Year, Steam lo no longer supports Windows Seven. Really? All right. Twelve kids and seven children have made it to the city. Let's go to Camp Vulcan. We're going to try to do stuff closer to the storm. I think that's the last time this group can go there. We'll keep an eye on that. Desperate father, a runaway child. Sir, a man is here to see you. He says that his daughter ran away from after the news of the storm spread. He wants to borrow a scout sled and go after her. She's a big girl, but she always is very impulsive, and she scares easily. The father explains, I must find her before she's lost for good. She's all I have left. Equip him for the journey. No way he's coming back. Not happen. No way.
Oh, that must be the guy who left. Big old storm there, bud. They're building new houses. Down to 70. All right, let's do the stereoscopic lenses. Advanced measuring equipment or instruments installed in the beacon will enable us to gauge the severity of the incoming storm. Oh boy. Gonna need more food. Probably gonna find a bunch more. Gloomy cave. All right, make your way to Camp Vulcan. Advanced coal mines. Build some roads, brother. Roads. And you know what we say about roads, Chad. Look at the edges of the screen get all frosted over. Ooh. It's coming. It's coming.
Alright, discontent's holding. It's not going to hold for long. Okay, we're going to warm up here in a minute. Raptors in Shrouded on later? I think so. We'll try. I think we're going to play with uh, Red and Colt. We'll see who's around. The lenses are complete. Now research for me. Automatic prototyping so we can do the advanced mines. I think. Or generator power upgrade. Well, regardless, let's start with the automatic prototyping. Prepare for the storm, sir. The scientists couldn't believe their eyes. But they've double and triple checked their calculations. They say the strongest winds of the storm will cause the temperature to plummet beyond anything we've experienced before. Hunting will be impossible. The plants in the hothouses will freeze. Everyone left outside the city will perish. And so will we if we can't heat our homes properly. We have to prepare. Hope falls. houses. Well, I don't know if I can have that outpost group go out there anymore. food. Trying to do that tier five. Deep Paulo, something odd about the landscape there. Looks like a shadow on a white plane deepens towards a central point. have made it to Camp Meteor. Camp is built around a large hole in the ice. It might be the impact crater of a meteorite with a, a block and tackle attached to the top of the steel framework built over a hole. Fallen star. We've searched the remains of the camp. This must be some scientific operation dedicated to research or whatever punched a hole in this ice. Now the place is deserted and there's nothing of value to be found here. Found the scattered convoy in a large crater. that way first. Transport's waiting. Oh. We have too much coal.
Too much. Influence the shrine as well. Prepare for the storm. Recall all scouts and outpost teams. Rescue the survivors from the deep hollow. Research generator upgrade three. Research overdrive couplings. Gather a week's worth of food for each citizen. A total of 3,612. We know we're close. dismantled. Camp Vulcan. As we approach the camp, we can see that its inhabitants are busy uh, packing. They've dismantled a couple of huts to build improvised sledges. Ever the skeptic. You're going the wrong way. The scientists mistook up us for refugees, but after uh, we tell them about our city, they're uh, nonplussed. It's probably too close to the storm to withstand it. Well, you might consult Nansen on that if you reach him uh, to the south. Their work here is done. We could convince them to join us so we could show them our city. Right, come on back. We need we need engineers. Try to get a delivery of food instead. up to um, 37 there. I mean, on day 37, it'll heat up to 60. post there and start bringing back food.
that big storm's coming. It's coming. Now it's made it to the large crater. It's hard to judge the crater's size from a distance. The vastness only becomes apparent up close. The camp is empty. Lost without a trace. The crater is fresh with broken ice around the rim. Uh, we searched for the camp and clues to the scientist's fate and found none. Everything is in order, but not in perfect order. Like they went out to do something and didn't return. Maybe they tried to descend into the crater and got lost in a maze of broken ice or got caught by a blizzard or both. Take technology. Require useful technology. Gathered convoy. Uh, a few light snowcats with a trailer. The vehicles aren't moving and are pointing in various directions. One trailer is lying on its side. Polar bear. They're trying to escape bears. Clearly. Like another 1600 coal sitting on the ground. Oh boy. We have to prepare if we're to stand any chance of survival. Oh, yes. Automatic prototyping researched. Okay, 18 engineers are on the way. We got food coming in. Oh, good. Generator range upgrade, power upgrade. We're definitely going to need to do power and then coal. We can upgrade two of those mines. We do 
that. We need iron how much? Okay, we're good now. I'm going for the coal mine. And then we'll go for the heat upgrade and then we'll see how it goes. Do we know how long the storm will last? They said about a week. We need food for a week. But we'll see how it goes. 18 engineers arrived in the city. Very nice. What's this guy doing? Okay, he's inoperative. Uh, what could we have you work on? trees. Fine. We'll go work on that for a while. for more infirmaries too just in case we find more sick people Build one man look at those deal mines go baby The automaton requires faith. <laughs> you think he goes to the little church too, peeks his head in? Boop. Does a little peeking. Hey guys, what's going on in here? Yeah, I'll be able to upgrade one coal mine. Good. In the order a tab, you can yell at the automaton and it'll work faster. Really? Wow. Wait, I don't want the hunter's hut. My bad. I want some more cookhouses. That's what I want. build those wherever we can.
Okay. Generator power tier three. Advanced coal mine. Shattered convoy. Hungry polar bears. How did I frickin' know? Expert, dude. Inside damage crawlers, we find several dead bodies. A few of them are torn apart like they were partially eaten by some beast. Polar bears, we think. We'll never know for sure what happened here, and there's nothing useful for us to salvage from this gruesome place. Frickin' bears. Uh-oh. The storm's starting to hit the edge. Uh-oh. The storm is here. Upgrade these houses at least to tier two, and then hit houses in tier three. We'll upgrade what we can. I'll build those and upgrade them. Have I ever watched The Edge? Dad's favorite movies with Sean Connery. The Edge. Um, I don't. I don't think I heard of that one. food and coal now. be okay. We'll see. They might make it. One of that technology was boosted sleds, but... Everybody in infirmaries now, for the most part. <sighs> 
True Detective Season 4? This is just like your IRL weather, yeah. Okay. Alright, food's definitely improving. Nikola Tesla is frozen over now. Fear of the storm. Hungry mother. Sir, a woman has come to plead with you. She wants more food rations, but the cooks say that she's already received her allowance. I beg you, Captain, the woman says in a trembling voice. Your men mean well, but... They must have made a mistake. I need two rations, one for me and one for my sick child, please. Ma'am, we have infirmaries and rules for this. You're fine. I will <coughs> hit up the alerts and stuff here shortly. Raptor, what is the most challenging RTS game to play right now? Hmm. Challenging. Well, you know, the ones where you got to manage more than just uh, an army. So, you know, like, there's Total War. Manor Lords will be coming soon, too, which kind of has some RTS elements and city building. Um, oh, that Age of Empires 4 was a lot of fun as well. I don't know if a lot of these are like as super challenging. They're they're certainly fun to get into. I mean, there's the new company heroes. You could play the Italian dynamic campaign as well if you wanted to. But Last Train Home is a lot of fun too. If you like this game, you might enjoy it, uh, Last Train Home. Really neat one. Yeah, Manor Lords, yeah. Yeah, it'll have, uh, like, army management and stuff coming. Although it's more of a city builder, but it's still got some stuff to... ...consider. Can Jagged Alliance 3 be called an RTS? Um, isn't that turn-based? I mean, it actually has RTS elements to it a little bit. Like, before you get into a battle, there is certainly, like, getting into position and running around that way. I thought Jagged Alliance was cool.
little thawing going on. Food theft causes riots. Sir, sure we investigated the discrepancies between the raw food use and the output of the cookhouse, and it turns out cooks are stealing food. People are furious. We caught four thieves. They say they wanted to secure their families before the storm shuts down food supply. Banished them. Faith keepers. Discontent will rise considerably. Cooks will keep stealing food. Poor people will leave the colony forever. You'll have three days to establish the faith keep. No. We'll deal with this. I'll deal with it. I got it. Yeah, see, we'll light some candles. There we go. See, they smell like uh, cinnamon and lavender and warm blankets. Get going. Time to earn your bread. We got other things to worry about. Healthcare insulation tier two. Well, that'll help us to keep those functioning. So let's research houses. Sawmill completed. Let's go work on that. What happens when you fill the crater with buildings? Um, it's rare, but you can do it. But then you just gotta take things down. And uh, build upgraded stuff. Let's get some more food. To convert all that now, we got a lot of a lot of stuff in storage. Hey, the scouts have reached the deep hollow. The terrain drops suddenly here into a deep hollow. There are wounded people and dead bodies at its rocky bottom. Long way down. Those people must have fallen into the hole while escaping the incoming storm. At least a ha 
half of them didn't survive the crash, but it seems we could rescue the wounded if that is we strap them to our sleds and bring them to our city quickly. Do it. Severe frostbite? Who the hell's working in severe frostbite? This one, let's shut this down. One of our people had to undergo amputation. Working the freezing cold left him in such severe frostbite there was no other choice. We don't have time for that. I thought the heater would be up by then. It was one of the kids! And eh, there'll be a pirate, I guess. Game looks very nice, I know. I'm looking forward to the second game. It feels like it'll certainly have elements of survival, but much more than that. It's gonna have a little bit more going on. Done with houses. Great. House redesign. Houses will cost 10 wood and 10, 10 steel less to build. Let's do that. Hold. time for today for Frostpunk right before the big storm. Next time we play, we'll finish up getting ready and then we'll uh, endure the big old storm. So thank you everybody for watching. Thank you very much for subscribing. Turn on the uh, notification bell and hit that like button. Thank you very much for subscribing on YouTube and thank you very much for following over on Twitch, exclamation point Twitch in the chat. Another cliffhanger. We will uh, probably come back for the dramatic conclusion next time, I guess. And then... We'll uh, start on some of the DLCs, and we'll probably start on... I'll yeah, probably start playing it in order of when it was released. So anyway, I'll see you all very soon, and of course, we'll be playing Frostpunk 2 whenever that releases sometime this year. Thanks again for watching. Thank you very much for subscribing. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you soon.